What's up YouTube? Hope everyone's having a blessed day today. So if this is your first time to the channel, please check out the other content, like and subscribe. If you're a returning viewer um, and already a subscriber, appreciate you guys so much for your support. So today uh, we're gonna be doing a little modification. We're gonna be cutting a windshield down on the, the crater fairing. So you can see we installed a crater fairing on the 2011 Dyna Superglide. And um, it actually turned out really nice. It looks really, really good on the bike. As you can tell, we did not video it. Um, but what we did, and I can walk you through it, it comes with a couple brackets. So as you can tell, there's a bracket right here and you loosen your handlebar mounts from the bottom and this bracket slides in and you bolt it up and there's another bracket right here and if you can see the bolt right there that bolts the headlight down and we ended up having to change out to this bracket here for the for the headlight so the headlight was sitting on top with the bracket. We ended up moving it down, put it in the last hole here, as you can tell. And then there's a, a hole here and a hole here. This hole right here is the one that, that worked the best in this situation. So we got it on here. It, uh, it does really well. So the one thing that we don't like is the height of it. So it comes with a 15 inch windscreen. So there are some companies out there that make a aftermarket um, windshield for this. So what we've decided to do is see if we can cut approximately three inches off of this all the way around. And then we, what we're gonna do is go out and ride it and see if it, if it uh, stops some of the buffeting. If not, we'll come back and we'll take another inch down. You can buy, I think it's a, a maybe 11 inch, a 12 inch and a 15 inch windscreen for this. So this is 15 inch already. So again, we're gonna cut about three inches off right here to start with. And then hopefully that that'll, that'll eliminate some of the buffeting. And if not, we'll take another inch down and then we're gonna try to polish this edge up. And if we can polish the edge up, if we can cut it to make it look right and polish it up, sand it down, um, we may not even have to buy another windshield. So that's where we're gonna go with this today. We're gonna go ahead and again, we're gonna to tape all this up right here. We'll use a Dremel and cut it. We'll go out for a test ride. If it works well, then we're gonna to try to sand it down and, and take it from there. So we'll get it, so we'll start taping it up and marking it and laying it out and um, y'all learn with us. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting some painter's tape and then we'll grab a tape measure and measure off just to kind of see where Make sure we got it in that range for us that we're looking for. All right, so I'm gonna take this tape measure. So I'm gonna go up just a little bit. So I'm gonna measure down here, so, so three inches from the top right there. So I'm gonna go on this back side. Right here, I don't know if. Go in 
this back side right here and I'm going to put a couple pieces of tape. along this inside. So the, the reason I'm trying to do this, and I don't know if it's gonna do anything or not, but just trying to to make sure as we're cutting it that maybe it it won't chip out. This may not even be necessary, but I'm gonna take the tape measure here. Just gonna kind of measure down. So yeah, it's gonna doing this in its boat and it's at an angle so y'all don't laugh too much and again this on the inside is probably not even needed that this is 12 inches all right so we got this line right there so I'm going to take the Memphis shades windshield and we're going to put it up here so I want to keep this shape. Now that we got that line, I'm going to push it right there. So I need you to hold that right there. I have to hold it on that line. Don't push too hard and break it. So I want to measure from this edge. make sure that it looks right so that looks pretty good right there so now I'm going to trace this out trying to see how it looks here. There to there. So that looks pretty good to me. So now what we're gonna do is get the Dremel tool out, we'll get it set up and we're gonna trim just above that line right there. And then we're gonna take the bike for a ride. 
So give us just a minute, we'll get the Dremel tool set up and then we'll go from there. All right, everyone, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to take this and follow this line right above. So I know it's gonna be a little jaggy and this is gonna try to melt back together so as we're doing this, but we're gonna keep working it until we get it all the way across and we'll go from there. There you have it. We have trimmed this one off. Still got a lot of cleanup and all to do to it. But it doesn't look too bad. So as you can tell, I mean, it's got all these little pieces right here that we can sand off and a little bit of stuff here and there. But if you look, it's pretty smooth right there so we'll be able to i'm i'm sure we'll be able to take some of that 800 grit sandpaper that we have do some wet sanding and smooth that out but right now what we're going to do is is uh jump on the bike and go for a ride and see if that that works for us we'll be right back we're going to go ahead to went for a ride seems to be doing okay so we'll go ahead and Peel the, the tape off. And then we're going to start, we're going to get some sandpaper and go ahead and soak it in the water for a minute so we can kind of start doing some sanding. Go. So as you can see, we got a few little burrs right here. There's one, there's one little lip right here. I'm gonna clean up with the Dremel. Right here, you can barely see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and off that I can Trying to clean this edge up just a little bit. All right. 
So whenever you're doing this, you know, fold your sandpaper like this. And I got some in some water. Got it soaking for just a minute. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna use our fingers. And we're just gonna start smoothing this out. And trying to clean up that edge. I'm kind of round it over just a hair. Take that sharp edge off. And this may take a while because we're using 800. And you'll see, you'll start getting little pieces rubbing off here and there. So we'll sand on this side for just a minute and then we're gonna switch it over and go to another piece. So we might have to soak two or three pieces of sandpaper and take our time to get this. But what we want is this thing to turn out looking as close to factory as we can get it. All right, so you guys have seen uh, enough of this. We're gonna go ahead and finish it up and then we'll come back and show you what the final product looks like. So as you can tell, we've got it trimmed down. Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, as you can tell, we, we've sanded it right there. We've used 800 grit sandpaper. There's a couple little bitty tiny lines in it that will We'll come back and, and smooth that up a little bit later on. But what we're gonna do before we do any more to it is we're gonna go ahead and ride this thing some. Make sure that this is the length or the height that we like. Make sure we don't gotta cut it down any any more. And, and uh, if we're happy with this right here, we'll leave it and then we'll, uh, we'll come back. But that's as simple as it is to cut down a, a windshield. What I would recommend is if you're gonna to do the the 800 grit i think the 800 grit works really well um and smooths it out really nice i think if we would have went with a 220 grit or something like that first it would have knocked this edge down a little bit faster and then we could have used the 800 to kind of polish it up but we didn't have it what we had was 800 and that's what we used so um other than that Hope everyone has an absolutely blessed day. Again, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate all your help and watching the videos. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.